Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's time to square up the quilt blocks for the beginner sampler quilt. So if you want to see how to use this giant ruler to square up these blocks, please stay tuned. I'm so happy to be at this point in um, the quilt making for this beginner sampler. It's nice to have all these blocks done. And the next step is going to be to get everything squared up. Now, I want to take all of these down. You can see them here, and they look really, um, to me, they look really nice. Um, there's a lot of variety in color and pattern and texture for each block. But we do need to get them squared up to the same size. So what I'm going to do now is take them off of the wall. And since I'm going to use my giant ruler, I'm going to go upstairs where I have more um, table space and we're going to start that process right upstairs. I think it's important that we talk first about why we need to square up the blocks and maybe even what that means to um, square up all the blocks in the quilt. Um, and mainly what squaring up means is that we are making all of these quilt blocks the same size. So right now they're whatever size they are and I'm going to um, measure them and then choose a measurement that will work for all of the blocks. There are several reasons for doing this. One is because um, I'm going to be adding sashing between the blocks and so that's going to be easier if all of the blocks are the same size. It's going to be easier for me to cut the sashing. It's going to be easier um, to stitch all of the sashings onto the blocks so that they will line up nicely once everything is put together. Another reason is that I have intentionally made at least one of these blocks bigger, my nine patch block. And if you go back and look at the video, um, this block is a little bit bigger than all of the other ones. And so for sure, either way, I was going to have to square all these up because I know that I have to make this one a little bit smaller. Another reason for squaring up a block is because um, there may be some imperfections in each block that you want to cut off on the ends. Like, for example, let's see. Let me find the keyboard block. On this block, there are... I don't even know if you can see it, but right here, it's uneven because this little end pokes out. And, um, and so to square it up, we'll cover that mistake. And for these blocks, even though they're simple blocks to put together, um, I do have a few of those types of imperfections where it's just not um, even on the edges. And so I want to square the blocks up to get rid of those, um, those mistakes. Um, overall, it's going to give the quilt a better look and it's going to be easier to put together, which is why I'm going to square these up. Now to use, um, to square these up, all you need is your cutting mat. And I have my, this is a 24 by 36 inch mat, but depending on the size of the blocks, you may need, you may be able to use a smaller mat. Since my blocks are supposed to finish 16 and a half inches, I am using this bigger mat. I'm also using my new ruler that I just got. Um, it's the OmniGrip um, 20 and a half inch square ruler. I haven't even opened it up, so I'm gonna pull it out. And when you square up your quilt blocks, you want to have a, um, a ruler that's bigger than your blocks, so it'll be easier to square them up. Um, since my blocks are so large, I wasn't, I'm not going to be able to use my 15 inch square ruler, which is what I would normally use to square up smaller blocks, but um, I would, always wanted a giant ruler and so now I get to have one. I'm going to open this up here on camera. It's really, um, I should have got my paper scissors to open this up, but whatever. It just has this giant piece of plastic around it. And so I'm just going to pull it out. And there are instructions with the ruler here. And I have a place that I, um, that I use, a, a place where I keep all of my little slips like this. So I'm going to put this in there and then uh, go ahead and pull this ruler out. This is an Omni Grip ruler. It's different from the Omni Grid. So it has, um, it already has like a, a non-slip kind of coating on the back, I guess. So hopefully it'll stay.
stay in place as I'm squaring up my root, uh, squaring up my blocks. All right, so here it is. Okay, and I also actually have my my little sewing journal here. Okay, and what I decided to do was I decided to make a little um, a little chart, and I'm going to write down the measurements for each of the blocks as I square them up. So my next step is actually going to be first to measure the blocks and then I will um, start to cut them down using the ruler to help. So I'm going to change the camera and then, um, and then we'll get started with the process. So to take my first sets of measurements, I have this, um, I just put my first block here on the mat and now I'm going to move this chair over. I'm going to go ahead and place the ruler here and I'm using, I have the one inch um, marks on my top left corner and I'm just going to lay it down just to see kind of where the measurements fall. And I'm going to, um, I'm just going to get as close as I can to what I feel like the actual measurements are. For this one, it's actually a nice 16 and a half. And each side is 16 and a half. And I'm going to write on my, um, in my chart here where it says nine patch or four patch, I'm going to write 16 and a half by 16 and a half because that's what I'm going to, or what I can square this up to. Okay. And then for each block, I'm going to go next. I'm going to put these over to the side. I did, um, put, give these a nice press before I, began to measure them so hopefully I can get the most accurate measurement possible all right so for the next one and I'm pretty sure I was pretty sure this one was going to be big when I when I started so and it is it's 17 by 17 and it's just approximate it's not exact um because I'm not going to move the ruler around too much this is for me, this should be kind of a quick process measuring the blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure each block on camera um, and I will put the, I'll put the name of the block and its unfinished measurement for you so that you can see it on the screen. And that way I can speed up the video just a little bit before I, so that um, it, it won't take up as much time. So I'm going to finish this up, but I am speeding up the video here so that, um, so that you know exactly what the measurements are for each block. to be squaring up our blocks to, or I'm going to be squaring up my blocks to 16 and a quarter inches. As you um, measure your blocks, they may be a little bit bigger than mine. They may be a little bit smaller than mine. Either way, uh, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you have a consistent quarter inch and that you have a good measurement to cut your sashing. Um, the fact that my blocks end up a little bit smaller, it just probably means that my quarter inch is a little bigger than maybe an actual quarter inch. But for me, that is not really important. The important thing is that I get all these blocks squared up to the same size. And it doesn't really matter what size that is. So now let's go through and grab, um, and grab the rotary cutter and start cutting these blocks down. So I'm going to... Go ahead and start squaring up these blocks. Since I'm squaring up to 16 and a quarter for this block, which has the two center lines, I'm trying to line those up at 
eight and one eighth inches. It's not exactly working perfectly, but I think it's going to be close enough. As long as I get the 16 and a quarter on either side, I'm not going to be super stressed about it. But that is kind of what I'm working towards. And so I'm going to cut these two sides off. And I'm actually walking around the table because this uh, square is so big. Okay. And so you can see that I'm just cutting. It's not big pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to flip the ruler around. Or flip the fabric around. Sorry, not the ruler. Flip the fabric around. And then I'm going to line up my... Um, my fabric on the 16 and a quarter line. So 16 and a quarter both ways. Good, good, good. And then I'm going to give it a cut. And whenever I have a, um, a fabric that has a center line, that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and line up with the 8 and 1 8 line first and then um, start making my cuts. But here is my first 16 and a quarter um, inch square. I'm going to... I'm going to show you now the checker square block because it has that same basic principle. Since there's a center seam, that's what I'm going to aim for first. Lining that up at the eighth and an eighth. So here we go. Eight and one eighth one way. Let's see. And then this one, it just kind of lined up automatically. I guess I did a good job with my sewing on this center square. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my two cuts. If you're right-handed, of course, you'll, you'll do right and top. Since I'm left-handed, I'm doing left and top. Okay. And then flip the block around. And line up with the 16 and a quarter on either side. And on this, um, on this ruler, the quarter inch is um, bright yellow, and then the half inches are black. So that's just an FYI. I don't know if it's good or bad. It just is. Okay. And so I feel like I can see really well where I'm supposed to be cutting. I can see what I'm lining up nicely. All right. Okay, I think the next block I'm going to do is the, the nine patch. All right, for this one, I'm just going to kind of eyeball. I want the center block to be in the center. So I'm not sure what the best way is to do that. So, I don't know. Let's see. It looks like this one is about at 11 and an eighth on this side. So, I'll just go with that if I can make it line up. Oh, actually, maybe not because the 16 and a quarter, because this block is 17 inches. So, I'm just kind of eyeballing here. So let's see. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to try this and see how it ends up. I'm just kind of eyeballing the, the outsides to see, make sure I have the same amount on each side. Probably need to do that at the top and bottom too. Let's see, I wonder if the five and a quarter mark will work or five and, yeah. Okay, I'll try this and see. Let's see. I'm going to take it down a little bit more. Okay. Hopefully this will get it. Okay. 
Hope I'm not cutting off too much on one side. If I do, I'm not going to stress. I, it is what it is. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this around and again line up with the 16 and a quarter on the other side. Uh oh, I turned my ruler. 16 and a quarter. And then 16 and a quarter. And I actually am putting that um, that yellow line on the fabric so that it's so that I use that whole bit up. So I'm going to finish up squaring up all of these blocks. I will do it on camera, but I'm going to speed up the video just so you can see that I'm actually doing the process on every single block. Then we'll come back together and um, see what to do next. I'm speeding up the video starting now. look now that they're all squared up to the same size I can't wait to see what the next step is as far as deciding what um, sashing I want to put in here and deciding if I want to add the little cornerstones in between each um, each square I I don't know yet what I want to do with that um, but next I will go ahead and try to decide on what sashing I want to use this is such a rewarding project for me so far I just I'm really happy with uh, every single step of this. I hope that you'll go back if you haven't had a chance and check out the making of each block from this uh, sampler. Um, if you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, please leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!